the release date and the specs for the RTX 3060 Ti were just leaked. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So a couple of new articles were posted recently over at videocards.com sharing information published over on my drivers and GPUZ detailing both a possible release date and the full specs of the upcoming RTX 3060 Ti graphics card that I know many of you are very much looking forward to. And by the way, links to all my sources will be in the description below so you can give them a read and get the full information. But anyway, I want to read a couple of short pieces of information over on those videocards.com articles and then I'll give you my thoughts on them. So starting off with the release date, Video Cards had this to say, quote, according to my drivers, NVIDIA allegedly set the launch date to November 17th, Tuesday. This date seems to fall in line with our mid-November claims from last month when we confirmed this SKU. And then in terms of the specs, Video Card says, quote, an anonymous and public GPU-Z validation confirms the specifications of the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, the second graphics card from NVIDIA based on Ampere GA104 GPU. And then if we go ahead and take a look at the chart that they provided here, we can see the full specifications for the RTX 3060 Ti, and these do look pretty accurate, and I think that this is what the final card is going to ship like. So first taking a look at the GPU, we can see it's based off of the same GA104 GPU that the RTX 3070 is based on, which is a good thing because it means that this card is probably going to be pretty high performance. It has the same 392 square millimeter die, 17.4 billion transistors, and then in terms of the CUDA core count, we can see it's cut down by 1024 shaders as it only has 4,864 CUDA cores, meaning that it only takes up about 79% of the GA104 die. In terms of tensor cores, it has 152, it has 38 RT cores, a base clock of 1410 MHz, a boost clock of 1665 MHz, a memory clock of 14 gigabits per second, which is actually pretty good to see here on a 256-bit bus, which means, of course, it will have 448 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And interestingly enough, they seem to think that it's actually going to be drawing even less power than the RTX 3070, which already draws a significant amount less than the RTX 3080. And apparently it's going to come in at around 180 watts, and they think it's roughly going to cost uh, probably around $400, maybe a little bit less. And I think that actually makes a whole lot of sense. So if we go ahead and we take a look at the RTX 3060 Ti, and we compare it to the RTX 3070, you'll see that it's actually very, very close in terms of specifications, and I expect the 3060 Ti to get really close in terms of performance. In fact, the 3070 only has 21% more shaders than the RTX 3060 Ti, meaning that it's probably going to only be around roughly 50 percent faster than that card maybe a little bit more but you know what that makes the 3060 ti a really great deal if it does end up coming in at around 400 which i do believe it will in fact that would make the 3060 ti probably a little bit faster than the 2080 super so you know overall to give my thoughts on this not only do i believe that this information is really good and it's actually correct but on top of that i think that this points towards a gpu that's one that maybe all of us have been waiting for you know when i take a look at the rtx 3070 you know while it is a pretty dang good deal when you compare it to the the 2080 Ti, one thing that we're not considering when we make that comparison is the fact that the 2080 Ti was one of the worst value graphics cards ever released in the history of graphics cards. So, you know, honestly, we should be comparing the 3070 to the 1070. And if you do that, you'll see that the 3070 is actually, I think it's roughly somewhere around 20% more expensive than the uh, 1070 launched at, even if you include inflation. And for that, you know, extra money, you're getting the exact same class of GPU with only eight gigabytes of VRAM. So that's really different disappointing to see. Whereas if we take a look at this 3060 Ti, yes, it has the same eight gigabytes of memory, which honestly should be enough for most games these days, though going forward, it's going to be a little bit iffy if you want to play, you know, the latest and greatest titles at 4K ultra settings. But you know, with a 3060 Ti class of graphics card, you're probably not going to be aiming for 4K. You're probably going to be playing somewhere around 1440p or maybe even 1080p high refresh rate. So, you know, considering that, I think eight gigabytes is fine on this class of GPU and to come in at around $400. In fact, I believe this card will launch at $380, making room for a $300, maybe $320 RTX 3060, I think it's a much better value than the RTX 3070, because I think, you know, that 8 gigabytes of VRAM just makes a whole lot more sense on that class of GPU. Yeah. Because really, in my opinion, I think the 3070 should have launched with 10 gigabytes of VRAM, and essentially that is what they're going to give you with the 3070 Ti. It looks like you're going to get basically a $600 RTX 3070 with 10 gigabytes of VRAM, at least those are the current rumors, and then the 3060 
GTI, in my opinion, really should have been the 3070. And, you know, all these cards should be a little bit cheaper, in my opinion. But you know what? It's a huge step up when compared to the last generation. And you know what? I think that the RTX 3060 Ti, for me, is looking to be one of the best graphics cards that's going to be coming out, hopefully on November 17th, as mentioned by my drivers. And you know what? It looks like there's going to be a lot of graphics cards launching very soon. So the end of this year is going to be very exciting for PC gamers. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the 3060 Ti? Would you rather buy that or would you rather buy a 3070 or something from AMD? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.